It's V Day. I've not ate today. This is my first drink I've had today. It's gonna be a good video, I can tell. Um, so today I thought that I would maybe include a little Q and A style. Um, well, I do my makeup, and I understand that my hair's a mess. And before you ask, I have half an hour to get ready. Um, so I thought I would just take you through my makeup and I've asked on my Instagram for you to ask me a couple questions so I'm going to be answering them for you yeah let's get started I thought I would ask the first question which was actually about skincare um, so skincare stuff um, and favourite moisturiser I have recently purchased the um, Lizero skincare stuff so I've got the cloth cleanser and I've got the exfoliator so these are really really good together um, I've started using this with this so I use this first it's I can't say it Decolor Decolor I don't know it's a um, cleanse cleansing makeup remover so I use this first and then I use my Lizero um, cleanser as well because I watched a YouTube video about double cleansing so I'm like need to gonna get on double cleansing and then I exfoliate or moisturiser this baby right here it is the Origins Mega Mushroom Relief and Resistance Soothing Face Mask this is amazing I got this as a Christmas present it's amazing it's literally the best moisturiser ever um, it says you have to pat it off 15 minutes after it but I don't really want to do that because the whole point of it is to get moisturiser in so I just leave it on and sleep in it and it makes your skin look amazing it makes it so nice so yeah we're gonna start off with our concealer should I zoom you in kind of a guru <laughs> don't mean to flex should I zoom in oh no I don't know if I should ew I'll zoom in for this bit and then I'll zoom out. Oh my god, this is... <laughs> this is awful. <laughs> Not meaning to flex on you, but... I, I This feels weird being so close. I hate this. Look, look at the difference in my hands. I'm kind of embarrassed. Oh well. Um, yeah, I'm gonna... Zoom out. Later. Right now, we're just gonna have a little zoom in on my face. You're welcome. Happy V Day to you. I am going to be taking actually a few boohoo stuff because I kinda got the makeup now. Stop putting that sofa, that's embarrassing. Um, I got this Blush Kisses palette. Look at this! so good. Um, I'm really excited to use it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to use not that. That's not happening tonight. No, no. I want like a really subtle, easy, nice glam. Because I feel like that's what people ask me like the most to show my makeup on. And all I do is kind of just easy glam. So we're going to do easy glam. I'm just going to be taking the Revolution concealer and putting it over my brow. Like, oh. I'm going to put it on my crease and then I'm going to just blend it out with a little brush. The thing I've kind of learned about makeup is you just need to pack it on. Like, I used to take so much time to do it, but I just prefer to get things done quicker, if you get me. Because um, I can't be bothered sitting doing my makeup for ages. Hi, my sister's here! <laughs> well, it's filming! <so> <laughs> Come, Come on! on. So the first question I got was uh, with fitness and waist stuff as well. I can make a full video on that, but I'm really fat just now, I'm not going to lie. Um, so I don't know if you'd want to see that, but do you know what? I'm just going to make one. I'll make it like, I don't know when, but I promise I'll do it. Because I feel like so many people have just asked me to do it and I've been like, mm -hmm. I'm not I'm good not at fitness. fitness. Cause I'm actually not, I'm really bad at fitness stuff. Um, but maybe I'll attempt it and like, I was going to say I'll take it February but it is February so I'll try just so you can see also lashes by Laura Rose and um, I'm just patting it in 
Wow, I'm so good at this. Just beauty guru things. <laughs> um, just pat it in and then I like to drag it down to the very, very bottom until you have a nice, even base. <laughs> I'm also going to be taking the collection Incredible. I literally bought this like randomly just to try out. Um, but I actually really like it. I really like natural brows now because my brows before that They were intense, let's just put it that way. Um, so I like to just comb through them a wee bit and then I'll do a second coat after. Cute. Now I'm just going to be jumping into this wee pad here and I'm going to play about with it and we'll see. I don't know. Um, another question I got actually that was really sad and I feel really bad. Um, but it was about, oh, I'm taking these two. There you go. Um, question I got was actually about friendships, which was quite sad. Whose camera just um, ran out of charge? As soon as I started talking about a really in-depth, deep thing. Me. Me. Yeah. So, the question that I... Hello? Hi. I'll be ready in 25 minutes. Is that okay? Okay, we'll see you soon. Love you, bye. 25 minutes, my fucking hours. <laughs> um, yeah. So the question I got was, friends not being there for you when you need them to be? Which is a really sad question. I hope you're okay. So, yeah, friends. I think that if you feel as if a friend is not there for you, why are they your friend? And I feel like maybe you should have a talk with your friends and be like, listen, because the biggest, the biggest thing I think for any relationship in general is honesty. If you, you need to be honest with them and tell them how you feel because they may not actually know that you feel that they're not there, if you get me. Um, so maybe if you just sat and talked talk to them and like, listen, this is how I feel, I'm feeling really upset, I'm feeling a bit left out, don't feel like you've been there for me. Um, and maybe they might be like, oh my God, we're so sorry, like we didn't realize like that we weren't there for you. That was a bad decision. You speak to them and they don't give anything back to you. They're not your friends. You shouldn't settle for anything less. But if you've maybe not spoken about it to them, definitely have a wee chat with them. And if they do apologise, then it's all good. Don't panic. But if it's not, get yourself some friends that you know will support you through anything. So now I'm just going to be taking a darker brown and just going to go in right there to create a kind of smoky eye effect, bringing it out, and everything will get sharpened up once we put foundation on. Um, so another question that I got asked was, are I in focus? Sorry, my contacts are bad. Yeah. So another question I got asked was about date night. So perfect date night for you. So I actually interpreted this kind of different ways. Like a perfect date night for me and a perfect date night as a couple. So perfect date night for me would be literally sitting in Costa, sitting in Starbucks, reading a book and having an ice caramel latte and a croissant with butter and jam. That is the perfect, like, there's nothing that makes me happier than sitting reading a book and having coffee and just chilling. Um, but as well for a actual date date, I don't know, like, I love, like, anything. I'm kind of up for anything. It depends on my moods. Like, if I'm up for something, like, bougie, I'll be like, let's go, for, like, let's go and do something nice. Um, I feel like me and Jack don't really do as much bougie things anymore, obviously, because it's not quite summer. But... I really just love a chill night, I really do. So the question, did I just die there? <clears throat> the question was, um, fancy dinner or movie night? Movie night, 100%. I love watching films, I love going to the cinema, I love doing it all, I think it's so fun. Um, and I love as well spending time after each other to actually talk about the film and like, there was one time me and Jack watched a really scary film and we had to walk home because we didn't have a car at the time and I remember us walking home together pure terrified because of this um, this film was so scary but 
that's like a really good memory that I got from going to the cinema and like it's something we look back on and we laugh at um yeah 100% ah movie night I feel like I'm taking a really big risk here but I'm gonna use this color because I think it looks stunning but look at that beautiful did I make the right decision I think I did stunning this is the problem with me doing makeup like I feel like in person it looks so nice and then here it's like like what happened I don't know looks nice to me Um, sorry sorry Vanna I'm gonna start using the studio fix fluid and NC40 don't judge me by how different the color is to my face I've got tan on thank you thank you Vinny another question that I was asked was what is the nicest thing that Jack's done for you on Valentine's Day? Now, nothing really sticks out to my head because like we don't really take Valentine's Day that serious. Like we do like nice things together, but it's not as if it's pure like this big thing. Um, but one thing that I would actually consider the nicest thing, and I actually brought this up recently to Jack, um, was the sweetest memory I have of me and him was our first year anniversary. Um, on our one year anniversary we went to the zoo, to Edinburgh Zoo and Jack had got me a present and I was really excited because I didn't really know what the present looked like I tried it on with my eyes shut I knew it was a wee nice um, a nice little bracelet so the full day he was like I'm gonna wait till time's right to give you this little um, this little bracelet <clears throat> little bracelet so we were walking to Edinburgh Zoo and I just remember it was a gorgeous day it was so lovely and we had trees like all around us as if it was like this little like how do I explain it a little tunnel of trees and the sun was coming through and it was stunning and we were walking along to Edinburgh and he stopped and he was like this is a really nice moment I want to give you this um this bracelet so I just remember him giving me this bracelet and the sun shining and it being the nicest memory, the nicest thing he's ever done for me. I just thought it was such a sweet moment and I'll always remember it. I'll show you actually the, the, uh, the bracelet. This is the wee bracelet he got me. It's so cute. It's not even, it's such a silly story but to me like you know when things just mean so much to you like it's just such a nice memory and that I love to have in my head. <laughs> okay, so I'm doing my concealer now. Just so you know. Um, another question that was asked was, what do you think the most important thing about um, being in a relationship long term is? Um, and how to be in a relationship for so long? Um, so if you didn't know, me and Jack, my boyfriend, have been together for four years almost. Four years in May, which is actual terrifying thinking about it. Um, and it's such a difficult question because I feel like so many, I feel like couples work differently together, like couples need different things but I would say the one thing that you need is like just unconditional love for someone, like I have never felt the love I've felt for someone other than him, like he is the most important person in my life, like He's my best, he's my best friend, he's literally everything wrapped in one, like he is the best person there is. And I would say love and good communication and trust um, and loving yourself. Because if you can't love yourself, how the hell are you going to love anybody else? So yeah, um, I don't know, it gets me really, oh, I don't know, it makes me embarrassed speaking about it, like, oh. Um, four years as well, four years in a relationship, like, ew, sorry Jack, but like, ew, like, being in a relationship that long's terrifying, like, I'm sitting here, I remember thinking, like, on our one year anniversary, I was like, oh, this is nice, like, it's only our one year anniversary, two year anniversary is cute, three year, oh, that's nice, four year, that's, like, serious, like, it's scary, so, I don't know, with really that as well an important thing to say is me and, me and Jack have or most couples grow up together and I feel like growing as a couple is 
so important. Like, I am not the person I was when I first met Jack, and he's not the person he was. We've changed quite a lot, and it's how you deal with that change, how you deal with that growth, because you need to understand that, like, you're not gonna be the same person that you are from now. In, like, five years, you might be a completely different person. So, it's, oh, it's dealing with that change and knowing how to change together as people and to grow as people for the better and um, that I would say is definitely a major thing that you need to overcome like it's a huge part of growing up and to have someone there grow up with you it's intense um, but yeah good communication trust love and that's kind of it I don't know I don't know, I'm not good at this relationship stuff. Mm. No, I'm really not. Who am I kidding? I love her. at the start of the video I said this was going to be a natural look. Subtle, subtle easy, easy, nice, nice glam. glam. Look at me now. Going to be using the MAC Give Me Sun. Because we all know we need some sun. Also added some jewels as well. Who should pay for V Day? I don't know, I'm bad with this question. It's a really controversial question um I mean it is really nice when a boy pays for things I'm not gonna lie but if you can afford things yourself and it's and that's fine you pay for things yourself or you have them or so my camera died all together which is great so yeah this is the finished look it's very basic but it's cute I want I want you're watching if you made it this far Thank you so much for being here. We also hit 500 subscribers. <laughs> I literally hit it today and I was like, oh my God, I'm making a video, this is perfect. Thank you so much to everyone. That is crazy. <laughs> thank you so much. Um, I'm gonna finish this and get really tipsy and that's it. So thank you for watching. And feel free to subscribe and like the video and I'll see you soon. Bye. I know. I'm the